Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am so happy you are here. This intro is actually post recorded because I needed to give a disclaimer to you. It's a little chaotic, this episode. It's a little all over the place. And I just want you to bear with me through this. I promise I'm gonna try to get better at this. But just know that it, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be here, it's gonna be there, it's gonna be everywhere. So anyway, let's just get into it and you will see. So I did get the kitchen kind of organized and better and all of the food has places to be. Hold on, where's my, I was like, where's my hand? There's my hand. And at, while I was out exploring, looking for more spruce wood, which I'll show you, I did get some wood set up. So we definitely have wood to work with and terracotta. Um, yay, I was able to get the botany pots. I found these spruce cabinets in the villages, so I didn't even have to like collect the spruce to make them, but I'm gonna have to get rid of these barrels and replace those with cabinets. But we're organized. Everything has a home. I did find these tarot cards, so that's fall damage, which we don't even really need. Um, the lovers, which is nearby allies, are granted regeneration three, which we're not playing with anybody. And then we have strength too. Uh, these don't go into any type of curio charm spot. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. But we have our botany pots going. These are for our trees. I did, I, like I said, I added botany pots and I added botany trees. And then I just got a couple little ones here. We have cabbage and sage. And then I went through and I did a lot of terraforming. So if you guys remember from the first episode, like this was all like a big hole. I went through and I cleaned it up. I filled in holes and I just, I made it, I don't know, better, I guess. Uh, so it looks a little bit more uniform, but it's not just a jumbly mess. So it'll be way easier to build. And I also did back here, I did some terraforming and back here I filled in all the holes. So those were the couple things I did. I tried not to do too much while I was out and exploring and not recording. I have found a bunch of places I want to explore and I am so proud of myself when I found them I just walked right by them I just gave them a little way zone. so we have several places that we can go see an adventure in I found a couple different mines the terracotta hold on this is such a joke I did not find a badlands yet but this is what I found this is all the terracotta I found I'll show you guys on the map I don't know what yeah, there you go it's just this this little spot why is hold on cave mode Can we turn cave mode off there we go it's just that that's all the terracotta i found and this right here is just this big arch so i still need to find a badlands i also need to find a desert to i need a cactus i need a cactus because i need green dye but yeah, this is this is what we're working with when it comes to terracotta right now. Let's go back home because it's about to be night. And then for over here, I have I have like so many ideas in my head. I want to do like a little building with a water wheel over here and start kind of dabbling and create. So I want to go back to those tinker that tinker's workshop that we found and gather all the items from there. Back here, I want to put a big old windmill um and some wheat fields back here and make that all pretty and i also want to make like a storage house and a place to put all the villagers and the villager trades so we have a lot of things that i want to do and also i need to fix this i need to make this a doorway and i'm actually going to change it out with green terracotta uh, i want to change up the coloring in here so this is going to be one of the first things to change. I Spiders and flies keep getting into the house and it's driving me nuts. So I don't even know what we should do first. I truly don't. We need supplies. Actually, that's a lot. I know exactly what we need to do. Do we have a shovel? No. We, I made a place where I want to put my mine shaft um, where we'll also have our way down to the mines, but we will have an area to put a super smelter 
and a so as you can see i also does anybody know how to get rid of this line this is where my last death was and i claimed it i picked it back up but the line is still there and i don't know how to get rid of it but when i was cleaning everything up i happened to take a spill down here thank goodness for slime boots but there is something down there that was not very kind um and i'm not quite sure what it is but it was a structure and that's another thing when i was down there and i saw the structures y'all i think we are incredibly close to a fortress a, not a fortress a stronghold i want to make this like this way i tried to put this over here by the beach i wanted my mine shaft over here like my mine entrance on that like that little area right there but when i started digging down i just dig it i dug into too much water and well we'll put that there for now and then i don't know i want to make this kind of fancy so we're gonna have it we're gonna come in and we're gonna make like a little like a couple steps down and then i want to make like a big room do a large tunnel yeah perfect like a big room that comes out and this is kind of where we can oh, i'm gonna have to go fix that over there though this is where we are gonna put like a super smelter and and uh a place to collect lava so we have like a decent amount of fuel what is that scoria okay that's a, from create well we will probably need that all right so this actually seems pretty decent size Let's go fix. Oh gosh, I need to eat already. Dirt, please. So while I was editing my last videos, I noticed how I like, I, you guys, I have ADHD. So I get distracted so easily by the smallest things. I forget what I'm doing. I, it's just typical ADHD. Oh wait. So we do need a thing for this. Okay, what do we have here? So forgive me for being a little scatterbrained. It's just, it's just who I am. All right, we wanna make a mining tunnel. So this will be like our mining tunnel entrance and we're not gonna have enough. We are not starting off strong, not in the least little bit. So I'll go from one subject to another in a heartbeat and I just, I get distracted very easily. It's it's just my ADHD. So if that's kind of aggravating, I know it can be. Um, I do apologize, but also it, it's who I am. So I can't really help that. Uh, don't don't come at me for it. We need sticks. So are you guys perfect? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Plenty of sticks from my trees. Wait, where did I put that? Oh gosh, I still have stuff in my backpack. Oh, I didn't even realize I had all this in here. Fine and everything, but where did all that other iron go? Cause I know I didn't, oh wait, is it still on the bench? It is, okay. I forget that this bench can like hold items unless you actually clear it yourself. So I need, I need to keep, I need to remember that. And another thing I wanted to touch on too is Last video was about an hour and a half long. I don't typically make videos that long and I don't know how people feel about that or them. Um, so let, let me know Gosh, your thoughts on that. Um, we will absolutely take this copper because we're gonna need a bunch of copper for our upgrades to our storage stuff. And then, I want to make this look all cute. I know some people are like, it's just a mine shaft. I don't care about it, but I do like, I like to decorate. Um, is this just one piece of gold? Oh no, there was a couple pieces. Nice. We got something going on down there. We need to get diamonds. We need to, we need to upgrade our stuff. Like that's especially why I, I want to put something here so they don't spawn. Um, I really want to get villagers. What is, is, you know what that red light is? I'm like sitting here like, what is this? It's where I died. Okay, um, scared. It is where I, I ate dirt. 
Let's see about making a decent... No, don't throw things down. Little way. I don't know what mod it is that does that, that lets you put items... Not items, uh, stones down like that, but I'm thankful for it. I'm just not good at using it yet. Um... Oh, this is what I was talking about. This was the structure I found where I got eviscerated all because I fell down. Oh, you know what I can do? We absolutely have the tools, uh, tools to make it is a magnum torch. So we can prevent these little goobers from spawning. <gasps> Jesus. Um, he just, ugh. Ooh. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I was not expecting them. Oh my God, you little horrible child. I mean, I'm still gonna light it up regardless just because that's me. I'm I'm afraid of the dark in general. So I like, I like well lit areas in all aspects of my life, even my gameplay. Even if I do put a magnum torch down, I would still very much put all of these down. And I messed with my, also, um, I messed with my shader settings. So hopefully this is bright enough because I feel like the next few episodes, we may very well be spending a, quite a bit of time in here. Oh gosh. I need to just go up and go home, make that torch and then wait a minute and then come back. Cause we're already about to die. Ooh, I see a diamond over there. Uh, oh, buddy. Well, we know it's not Bilbo. We saved Bilbo's life. There's all kinds of goodies in here, though. I'm gonna get so sidetracked on everything I wanna do today, but that's the fun about it. Okay, where the heck? Yeah, I, I got unalived right down there. I don't know what this place is, but there are a ton of, uh, what's the word? A ton of spawners i like i i didn't even wait tentacles okay i'll take them i didn't even wait to like check it out because i was like nope I'm, I'm gone it's it this is goodbye we were definitely on the other side there we are we're gonna go make this torch and then we'll be able to come back down here and get lots and lots of lots of thingamabobbers we need actually we're gonna sleep and make it daytime because so i want to go back down there and show you guys the map too so you can see all the goodies uh oh 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 no 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 what are those what are those no oh gosh Ooh. A wild and hunter that from Ars Nouveau. Oh gosh. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Um. Now that my stomach is out of my throat, can I can we get this sorted really quick? Let's put some stuff away. Rude. Uh. What is that? Soapstone. A lucky. Oh, but it's negative two percent efficiency. I was kind of really hoping to find that. I guess we'll find it somewhere else. Um, I think, yeah, the tentacles. What does this horn do? I'm sure we'll need it for something Ars Nouveau. So we'll just throw it in here for now, along with the not so lucky rock. Wait, where are all of my, why can't I access my backpack? What is happening? Okay, there's my tarot cards. I need to be able to access my backpack though. BRB. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but I had to completely restart my game. It was quite the pain in the bottom. I don't know what we needed in my backpack though. So now I've completely lost all thoughts. I've lost all thoughts. Magnum torch, okay. We need emeralds. There's the fireball thingy. I know we've picked them up. No, I know I've picked this up. Like a fire, Ugh. why are words not coming to me? But you, you always get them out of the nether chest. I know I had them. I made sure I had them. And I made sure that when we saw abandoned nether portals, I picked them up because I knew we would need them for this specific thing. And now I'm wondering if I'm thinking of a different gameplay. Oh my goodness. 
Well, we're going to have to go search for, like, am I missing it? I don't feel like I am. I know it starts with fire. Campfire. Fire leaves or that fire flower. Okay, well, we are going to have to take a trip. We're going to have to go find some nether portals. Let's look on our map because the, they're actually pretty easy to pin on the map. I must have been thinking of a different gameplay because I'm seeing next, there's one all the way down here. I don't know if I have a waystone down here. Is this the beach village that we went to? There's one over there and I'm almost positive for the recipe, you need two of them. Looks like there's one there. Okay, well, I guess instead of starting this, we've got to go do some exploring, which is fine. Let's, we're going to upgrade our backpack to gold because I know for sure we can do that. I wonder what the diamond backpack is. I wonder if that's like the iron backpack. Um, Sophisticated. Gold is all around. No, diamonds are all around and we only have five. Come here, you. We're upgrading. Upgrade day, yay. Let me put all of this stuff that's in my book bag away really quickly and we'll get started. Okay, we are all sorted and then we need to get us some food going to bring with us. I don't think, we only have 13 bowls. Maybe it'll be enough. Oh, perfect. And one bowl left. And I want to, oh, sir. Please go away. We can do a backpack upgrade. And the one I would like to do the most is the feeding upgrades. So let's figure out what do we have to do for this? Gold carrot, gold apple. Ooh, a glistering melon slice. I don't know that I have that. If I did, it would be in here. Mm, how do you make a glistering melon slice? Oh, I, well, I don't even think we have. We have many melons. Can I cut these? on the cutting board and they turn into, oh, they do. Wait, I had one mini melon. Oh, but it gave me six, okay. And then we need gold nuggets, which we have right here. So we can go boom, boom, make one of those, thank you. And then this is our golden carrot. There's our golden apples. Did I put my gold? I thought I had more golden carrots. I do. Because what do we need for the other upgrade? Redstone, diamond, and gold. We do not have an... Where is he? Where'd you go? Oh, come here. Thank you. That was easy. Okay, redstone, gold, diamond. Let's do this really quick. So first one, yes. And second one, yes. Thank you very much for your services. So now we can put all of our food in here and that will feed us automatically. Get all of that back. All right, everything is put away. We are organized. We have at least a feeding upgrade. There are monsters nearby, so I can't sleep over here. Maybe we can sleep in the kitchen. But yeah, kitchen's always the best place. Watch your fingers. With a tool in hand, use the cutting board. Let's try the beach village. I don't think this was the right one. Oh, wait, yes. Oh, I forgot my boat. I feel like I've been here. I have been here. I know that I have. I know that I got that stuff. Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, I have no idea where it's at though really truly don't know where those little i don't think i made one i'm almost no i know i wouldn't i wouldn't have done it off, off camera because it would have been something i would want to do with y'all okay where else on the map was there another one i don't know i don't think i have a waystone over here this map doesn't tell you where your waystones are so what what is going on with it? I just realized there are name tags. I haven't, yeah, and I haven't even gone through this village. This is one I found on my adventures. But the important thing to me right now, oh gosh, oh no, no sir, it's an illusioner. Get going. No, we are not prepared. Oh, I hate this. Make a boat. Oh, I hate this. Is he following me? He is following me. Rude. You're rude. You and your buddy are rude. Give me a tree. What is that? Oh, I have haste, strength two, and nourishment. Nice. You there. Does anybody else have like a thousand boats in their inventory because they always forget their boat and then they have to make another one while they're out and about? 
that just me? Okay, there's like this little, I think this is a little witch's house. Oh, I wish I had bones on me. I would get myself a little, a little wolf friend. Oh, this is a witch's house. Ooh, wait, no, this might be. Ooh, but you know what? We're inside, so I'm not as scared. Oh, I got him. That was easy. What is that? A uh, totem of illusion. What does it do? I haven't the slightest clue, but we'll put it in our little charm for now. I feel like we have to go a little bit way, a little more ways down, but now we're going up. Hold, please. Oh, we gotta go across all of this. I don't know what I did, but I went all sorts of the wrong way. But there is, there's a portal right there. So let's go check that one out. And then we can try to get to the one that we were originally trying to get to. I see it. It's right back there. Let's go check that one out and hopefully get all the things we need. Oh, it doesn't have it in this one. See that bell and hold on. We're, our bags are already full. What is, what is this? What might this be? A shipwreck in the middle of a swamp? Um, I believe it is. Oh, hello. We'll take all of that. I'm a little turned around by this. Ooh, a cartographer's quill. I wonder what we would find with that. Although normally with cartographer's quills, I don't know how it is for everyone else, but they always send me like thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away from where I am. And I'm just like, this is the longest trip ever. It doesn't even matter if I open the map right now, it would be, it would be thousands of blocks away. Okay, what goodies do we have in here? We'll take, uh, you know what? I don't want to take the specific bad food okay maybe we won't do that but uh, i'll take your mouse block thanks okay that was interesting a shipwreck in a swamp hmm anyways on with our journey which i am still going in the complete wrong way for i need to go east i do love the lily pads though they're all so cute and like the algae, or what is it called? They call it water lentils. What is this? We're finding so many things. I mean, granted, things we don't need. Is this a village? It is. Oh, it's a little swamp village. Hello? You guys must be the survivors of the wrecked ship, and then you just decided to stay here. Oh, look at them. Willis, you're adorable. I love your outfit. Hello, Jenny, Cecilia. Ooh, I like how they did that in the fireplace like that. That looks good. What is this? A gas lamp? Oh, interesting. Seems that you have no no sheep. No sheeps and no cows and no piggies. Wow. Okay, this place is cute. These little gas oh, I'm in water. Little gas lamps everywhere. But look at them. Hello? Hey, hey, Happy was a pet. I know, I know. I I don't have a cage on me because I have not built one yet. Ooh, they got some good loot though. I need to come back for that frog. Do you have some good loot? What is that? Oak sapling. Oh, give me that bread though. I'll take all the bread. Not much loot, but the loot you do have is sufficient. Ooh, this house is all the way over here by itself. What is that? Did y'all just see that green smoke? It's almost like a green gas bubble. You know what that was? Ethel? What was that? Ethel? <gasps> Hello? What do you do? A lily tad? Oh my goodness. We, do you guys perhaps have a waystone here? I mean, I have plenty, but I would prefer to use you. What is that? Oh my, oh, look at your little library. Oh my gosh, so much is happening right now. Look, they have a library and a tree. Excuse me? Okay, could, could we be a little less adorable at the moment? We could, we could go to sleep. Please let me sleep. 
There we go. There is a lot happening and I was not expecting this and now I, 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 I can't stop. Like I need to know what that place is over there. I need to go make cages because I want that lily tad and that frog. <gasps> wow. Sorry, this is my dream catcher. My dream catcher gives me one random effect for 339 seconds when waking up. So I don't know what is it. We have speed and strength right now. Oh my gosh. There looks like there's another one in the back too. <gasps> what is that? It's like a little witchy hat. Maybe we should move to the swamp. Can we move can we move our hermit house to the swamp? I wanna live here. I wanna live here. Dried kale. There's more over here. What? Oh wait, this is where we came in at, right? Yeah. I do kind of want to live in a swamp now. I could okay. There's one thing that I could absolutely do. And I could throw it. What is that? Coconuts? Um, I could throw the game into creative and get some source blocks and copy the house. Oh, cantaloupe. I could copy the house and then bring it over here and set it down. I could do that. Um, or I could try to replicate the house. I could try to build it. So I don't really like putting my game in creative when I'm playing on survival, uh, even like for a moment. So, okay, we've been here. But I wanna live here. <laughs> like, I wanna live near that. I want to live in this cute little village. There's a, a lot's happening in my head right now. What is this? A wild tea bush? We'll take that. Wait, there's so much. And look how cute they are in their, their little green leaves. The coolest. It doesn't look like there's a waystone anywhere though. So we'll just leave. We'll just leave ours here. And that way we can come back and we'll... We'll consider, we'll consider moving here. Because honestly, like I really did not want to live in a plains biome. Like, look, what is that? Now I wonder if we go through it. Oh, oh, nope, it, it hurts us. Oh gosh, okay, that wasn't a good idea, but now we know, the more you know. <gasps> That's a hexerai thing. Oh yeah. Look how cute, oh my gosh. And there are two of them. Hi, my name is Kelly and I am properly obsessed with you. Ooh, okay. I was waiting to talk again after we got out of the swamp water because you y'all know how it is going through all those lily pads is a pain in the neck okay so we've gone super far east and now we need to come down and go southwest not doing well okay that's the wrong way southwest is back towards the swamp oh my gosh what biome is this Sika woods this is really pretty what is this yuma roll vent Huh. Okay. Let, it, it, sorry. I I get so, so distracted. But what I was trying to say earlier was that I never want, I wanted to live in the hermit house, but I never wanted to live in the plains biome. What is this? They're witches. And I hear villagers. I'd rather get the witches because they throw poison. I only have like... Okay, well, that was all of the... Oh, that poisoned me. Um, get... Oh! Oh, I don't even know where our respawn point is. Oh, at home. Why can't I select my destination? Require... Oh! I need experience. Let me go to sleep. Please, I'm just gonna cry right now. Um, I don't even know what I can get XP on right now. Oh wait, yes I do. Ahaha. Ha. I mean, and while we're at it, we might as well put more in there. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the neck. Where did our latest 674 blocks away? Okay, well. Let me make the track. Let's hope I don't die again. Poor life choices. 
Oh my gosh, we need food really badly. And, 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 and now it wants to rain. This is horrible. Everything I've done is just a huge mistake. What are we in? A forest? Oh, what are those? Are those crows? Um, okay. Oh gosh, it looks so ominous. How are we going to do this? This food? No, it's a violet. That's where I am. Can I get down there? I know, I, I want to save you. I really do. Poor little drag me. Oh, you're right up on my freaking thing. Can I reach it? Nope. Ha ha ha. Horrible person here. Oh, yes. Oh, get the. Okay, it went away, but it comes back. How do I get rid of that? How do I get rid of that? Oh, no, sir. I'm gonna stay far away from you. Oh, it's broken. It's gonna be hard to get back up. Okay. Oh, it's another witch. Ah ha ha, you're stuck. <laughs> oh. I'm not, I'm not scared of you guys. Not great loot, but you know what? Loot is loot. Look at them. Oh, I love that so much. This side, however, I will take that raw gold. I will take that raw copper. And a block. I was going to say, I'm going to take that block of iron and that other block of gold. Thank you very much. Ooh, TNT. A block of emerald. What is this? Psychic wall. Pet summons a wall of energy during combat to provide cover. Okay, very cool. Sharpness three and knockback. What do we have on here? But we have mending on this one and sharpness four. There's another block of gold. We shall take that. What do you have? A your stone. I don't know, really. Thank you very much. Out our way through. Oh, oh, this is about to happen. Really? Is that my respawn point? Okay, did they go? Whew. I got really nervous. I got really nervous. There wasn't anything good in here anyway. So we get a totem of undying. We did. Let's go. That is fantastic. Well, we're just going to wait out the night here. And while we do that, hit the wrong button. Let's see. Miscellaneous. We obtained an ancient tome. I might have done this. There are going to be a couple things I know that I've done for sure with my, when I was looking for the terracotta. Okay, that's the fission. We still haven't chosen who we want. Storage, shortcut upgrades. Don't you get tired of having to open your backpack to get things? Isn't it annoying to have to put food in your mouth every time you're hungry? Well, you know what? It absolutely is. And we got another upgrade thing. And this is a world of illusion. Ooh, we get a block of emerald for killing the illusioner. And then that one is we get another bucket of something. All right, let's make our way out of here. Hey, little buddy. I know you want to leave too, don't you? Can you make it up here? I like, I want to help him. He wants out of here. Oh, you got it? You do got it. Good job. Good job. All right, Southwest. Okay. Take a look-see. We need to go like completely west now. It's right over here. Wait, we can get these emeralds though. That's right. Wait, what? Wait, what? Polish on a diamond grindstone? What the heck? What, what is that? There it is. Fire charges. That's what I was looking for. What is that? A rallying shout casting crystal? Okay. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. Um. Except all this. Thank you. Ooh, we need this dripstone. We need your dripstone, please. This is for our lava thingy. Really, we don't need that much. 14 should be good. Take like a couple more. Just in case I get ahead of, like, do ahead of myself and make a ginormous spot. Okay. Is that another horse? Are we looking at another horse statue and I'm just looking at it by from the side? I think we are. It is. Hello. Ooh, nice. Thank you so much. The nuggets of experience that I will take them all. What are you? Seven. You're slow. Nine. 
954. Nice. Okay, we could find one more because we need two fire charges for the torches. Oh, wait, do we only need, wait, I was gonna make an emerald one because, oh, we only need one. So we can actually make three torches. Okay, we're kind of far away from home. What is this over here? Hold on, let my curiosity get the better of me and then we'll just teleport home. An enchanting tower. Oh, these have books on Oh, that was cool. Hello? I see a name. It says Denny and Socks. Do I have a cat named Socks? Oh, my mom had a cat named Socks. Okay, linked inventory. A pet can pick up items and teleport them to our inventory. Very cool. Uh, what is that? A deep slate furnace? I'm going to take your charcoal. Getting all the goodies. That charcoal too, and that charcoal too, and that charcoal too. Thank you very much. Hello? Hey. Hi, Denny. I feel like he, they really did just say hi to me. Bucket of slime, thank you. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna take all of those. Oh, do you have something in here? No? Okay. Bye. All right, well, that wasn't as scary as the last couple of encounters we've made have been. <laughs> thank goodness. Hi, you're adorable. Oh, your name is Socks. <gasps> now that is adorable. Please. Do you see what I see right there? I'm gonna zoom through the water. Go see what it is. Oh, it's another Hexera village. Okay, well now that we've found what we were looking for, we can stop and look at one of these because I actually really like it. Hello? What what are you? You're a white a white crow. Stop I feel like that's such good luck. I still don't have anything to capture it with. Wait, can I use seeds? I don't think I have seeds. Okay. The Hexera villages are so cute. And they have so many goodies. Apparently you're trying to keep an animal in here. Okay. And we're gonna take all the goodies. Well, as many of the goodies as we can. Yes, that includes the candles. I'll leave you a torch though. Oh, there's an upstairs. Ooh, it's a green bed. Ooh, it's a bunch of leather. Um, maybe my ax. Probably be easier. I like this table. We're, we're just gonna take it. That's really pretty. Hey, this is why you can't get anything done in this game is because you see one thing and then you're like, ooh, and then you see another thing and then you're like, ah, and then you're, you know, just ooh and on and not getting a single thing done. I am not going to look around anymore. I am just going to go forward slash home. <laughs> okay. And then that way we can stop with everything. But... At the same time, we need to make a really important decision. I kind of don't want to stay here. I really truly don't. I want to go move into the swamp and I want to take this house with me. And the only way I can do that is if I go into creative and move everything. Or, I mean, we could do it the hard way. I could literally tear everything down and take it over there and try to replicate this, which I cannot say that I would do very well at. I think I know what I want to do, y'all. I think I know what I want to do. I don't, like, look how boring a plane is. We've got some cool stuff that we found over here. Absolutely. But, I mean, I want, like, I wanted to be, like, kind of surrounded by trees and, like, just not, I don't want to say an ominous, like, sense around me, but, you know, like, ominous and witchy kind of go together. So I could try to do this with the source block. I could, I could, I could. Give me, okay, put that away. Take this out of the house. I put one up here. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't, oh gosh, it's been forever since I've done this. So I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial really quickly. Okay, this is gonna be the one and the only time that I'm gonna do this. Open the land, allow cheats, start land world. There you go. Okay, we need to, it's gonna be give me source. Hold on. I need to look up a tutorial. BRB. Okay, there we go. Structure block. I was thinking, I don't know why I was thinking source block. But yeah, we need to be in creative for this. And that I was not in. Okay, and then where is our furthest point? I feel like we just want this house in that swamp area. That's all, y'all. We need to come out further. I'm gonna come out here. Load. Um, hermit. Hollow. Oh, hello. What are you doing? 
Why aren't you letting me write? We're gonna include the entities. And I think it's just this one. And then we come up here for our highest point and we come all the way over here. We don't need to be that far out. And then what is it? Set block. Where are we at? We are back. Cecilia is in our bed and we are going to, excuse me, Cecilia. Now we're going to put all of our stuff away. I'm really excited about this. I know some people are going to be like, oh no, no, no. Like that's no good with them. And I'm sorry if you feel that way, but it's what I wanted to do with my game. So I hope you can understand at least that. Like this is my game and my gameplay and I know everybody is, I feel like we, we just need to remember like a to each their own type deal. And then that way and just move on from it. I am gonna, I, mean, the, I need to figure out what to do about this rough emerald too. I don't know what that is. A polish, a diamond grindstone, I have no idea. Um, I'm gonna put all of this away and then we're gonna reconvene. So give me a moment. I just realized because I had these in like loot barrels, all of this stuff, like the loot reloaded. So anything that was in it, oh no, anything that was in it. Oh, shucks. Okay. We just, we lost a lot of food from that. That's a bummer. Well, you know, that's what I get. We got all of this stuff. It's all food and I'm just going to throw it all in here right now and then what we m meant to do now the whole reason that we even started on this whole journey gold wood and emerald and fire charge okay put the fire charge over here I may I just made a dump chest because we got a lot going on um I just need regular old wood can we make two of them oh we can okay perfect so, I think like, they go like 64 blocks or something like that. I'm gonna put you, um, no, we're not doing this today. Thank you. We're also, we, we don't want any palm trees. I know I'm technically on a beach, but no palm trees, please. And then I guess I can put like another one. I might very easily come to regret this decision but maybe i'll just throw it like back here because i know i'm gonna want to like end up building back here eventually oh oh and there's a lily tad he's just hanging in the water he's just a little guy oh well we moved our house that's one thing done um i took all of my food out of my bag so nothing is feeding me we need the bread for my bowls of food. I think I might have put them in here. Yeah, our bowl of stuffed pumpkin. Next thing we're gonna do is giving my green terracotta. Can we make terracotta stairs with this pack? We can, okay, perfect. I'm not crazy about the shingled part, um, the shingled terracotta. We do love our green. We do, we do, we do. I don't think I want to make it look the same as over there though. But it definitely needs something. And right now what we definitely need is a door. Perfect. No more spiders, no more thingamabobbers, flies. I'm excited. Look at us. And then off screen, I will, I won't bore you guys with changing out the the sand to dirt. I will not bore y'all with that, but I'm really excited. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. And then we can add trees all around us and we got villagers everywhere. And yeah, okay. There is another Xera village right over here. I mean, I guess we'll just... up right here. Next or I willow it. I don't think it's the particular, yeah. The willow I want, and I don't know exactly how to find it. It's green. Um, and it's so pretty. This is also very pretty. Do I need more pestle and mortars? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave that one there for now. Ooh, rack. Yes, please. 
candles. Yes, please. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> it just opened for me. A cover. Uh, oh, I was like, oh my god, did I just break it? <laughs> and now it won't even open? These little particles kind of drive me nuts. All the doors are already open. There's like way more here than there was in that last hex ride place we came across. I love all the hanging herbs. Herbs. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. The witch's boots. Wait, does it go on here? Yes, we got witch boots. Yay! I'm excited. Okay, make our way to the big witchy buildings. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Are there cauldron? Oh. It takes us up into the hat. Hello. Super cute. Please just give me what I want. I stop hitting everything else. I don't know, I was kind of expecting more from that. Okay, another cauldron. Let's go all the way into the hat. Oh, another co coffer. Coffer? Coffer? Coffer, right? I also want to see how the magnum torches work. Make sure, you know, our, our little village safe. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to come out here and see how it's going with the baddies. And I think it is going. I think we're good. Hey, everybody's safe now. Okay. I want to get the storage set up, Ray. I want to get more of our pots going. Oh, I want to... So we have a couple more two by two drawers. But see, like for plants, I just want to use the one by two. And then trees are good for the two by twos because like you have like this with a an oak tree where you get the tree sapling, the apple, the stick, and the wood. So I kind of want to do that. Like, but with the bamboo, I can make it just one. We're going to have to watch what we do. And then I'm going to use a lot of the two by twos for our actual storage. That's me thinking. Would any of you be used? You could probably be used a decent little storage house or I could, you know what, maybe I'll tear that down because there's no animals there anyways. And then we can make a storage house right here. Yeah, I think we will do that. Oh gosh, thank you for all team on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I are you blue and red? Oh my gosh. I feel like that should be a rarity. I feel like we should have just gotten like some type of achievement for discovering a rare creature. Um, put this out here. Throw all of this in here for now. Oh wait, I want a bucket. Do we have a bucket? I mean, we can make one really quick if we don't, but I feel like we do. So let's go get this little lobster. A bucket of lobster. Well, we won't eat you. We'll make you another aquarium. Straw golems. <gasps> Wait, there's straw golems in this? Stop it. They're so cute. I've act I've never actually played with it, but I have seen the mod and I'm always just like, they're so cute it hurts. You know what else I was thinking? Like we could completely redo the village too and make it all uber cutesy for our residents. I've obviously made myself like the mayor because obviously. Okay, we're gonna need to do some resource gathering and that is going to include us going down to some mines. So I don't know, it's just a lot of water, obviously, because now we live in a swamp, but we are gonna need a bunch of cobble. There's a couple things I'm gonna do. We'll make several of these, but just in case we do find something down there, which definitely reminds me when I started the episode, I told you guys that I fell down and I found that one structure. But when I was looking at the map, I saw something else that I think is a stronghold. I'm not, I wasn't certain. Cause like I said, I didn't go and investigate, but I'm kind of sad I left that area just for that purpose alone. Maybe we'll just make this right here into like our little mine shaft area. And I think, I think we're gonna dig straight down and just 
foot ladders. I want to make a small tunnel going straight down. Four life choices are about to happen. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. Okay, oh, thank God for boots. Um. <laughs> okay. Because we're gonna have to make a ton of ladders. All right, we're all the way at bedrock. And I'm looking at the map. It looks like we might not have ran into much water. Let's see. Maybe not. Oh, well, I don't know. That looks like kind of a lot of water right there. I guess it just depended on like the way that we dug down. Um. Uh, hello, what is this? See this, wait, is it not a stronghold then? Because this is the same type of structure I saw over by the other house. This is what I was talking about, y'all. So maybe it's not a stronghold because I thought there was like only one stronghold per world. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but, but mm, we are not strong enough to go investigate this yet. So we'll wait, but okay, cool. We got some caverns over here too. Let's see what else we see the further we go down. Okay. Okay, and still on this, what is, what is this? It's a lava maze. What the heck? Wait, where's my green arrow right there? Oh, is that like a mine shaft right here? Yes. Okay. What do we see the further we get down? I just, this is still showing up. I need to know what this is. Now there's another room right, right over there. This is crazy. Is this a stronghold? Like this is layers upon layers of something and we're so close to it which is crazy and here we are at bedrock okay so it changes that bedrock too what the heck i think it might be a stronghold um we are going to come up though we don't need to be this far down right now uh because we're not necessarily searching for diamonds but i do want Two. I'm gonna do some gathering as all of my tools break and hopefully I will have enough of what I need. What was that? Oh, 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 oh my god, you guys, we got a lucky rock. Stop it. Where does it go? Right pocket or left pocket? Well, you know what? Oh, my pockets are full. I'm gonna throw all this right here for now because we need to give me all that. Give me a bunch of cobblestone. We have that burning. I need, all right, we need our moss box. I think there's a way, hold on. I need the specific willow tree I want that has green wood. I think if we make the nature's compass, that's how I can get it. Cause I do know it's a reward. There's our dowsing rod. And then we need the dowsing rod. We need one more oak sapling would be fine. And what else was it? Wood, right? Just wood? Yeah, we have plenty. Perfect. Let me shut this door and then let's go over our quest. All right, okay, prevent mob spawning at alternate an alternative to sage. So that was for our, um, oh no, you guys, I think I did it wrong. The, okay, the diamond prevents hostile mobs. The emerald prevents neutral and passive. And the amethyst prevents all, oh, and I made emerald ones. So I was just like, I have more emeralds than I have diamonds. Well, sorry, villagers, you guys aren't safe after all. Okay, what is this? Overweight crops. Everyone loves a chubby carrot. Let's see what this says. Um, with this mod, crops have a small chance of spawning giant crops similar to stardew. We love stardew here. This is most likely to happen to fully grown crops exposed to moonlight. Break them with a hoe to get significantly, significantly more regular crops than usual. Break them with an ax or a hand to obtain the crop block itself. You can cook them, peel them, or place them on a cutting board to gather the crops from them. Oh, and you can even ha you even have a chance of getting an overweight crop when using your planter. Very interesting. Okay, rich soil. Thank you. We know all about that. That's still our farming, our fishing and gathering that we haven't decided on yet. Was this? Oh, we got a jar. There are a number of jar types in this mod pack. This one holds liquids. Up to three buckets worth. Okay. From water to soups, even experience. 
They also function as, oh, we can put little fishies in this. <gasps> Stop, that's so cute. I mean, we wouldn't do that IRL, but in Minecraft, yes, we would. Right click the jar with an empty hand to eat or drink its contents. Don't worry, you won't eat lava. If you simply, you will be, you will instead capture small, <gasps> we can do bees and baby slimes. Y'all, the baby slimes in this mod are little mushrooms. All right, hex dry, we made our dousing rod. To locate much of the content of this mod, you must first locate a swamp or a jungle biome. These can be found either with nature's compass or the dousing rod or just exploring um, and running into one. The dousing rod's leaves will change colors when it points towards one of the aforementioned biomes. If one crafts it into the nature's compass, you can search the surrounding area for any biome. Okay, a blood sigil is used to collect blood for rituals. They are crafted with redstone and polished blackstone. Once you have crafted a sigil, place it on the bottom of your mixing cauldron. Once installed, make sure there is no liquid in your cauldron and then jump on and jump inside of it. Blood must be taken from a willing participant. And that means you jump three times to obtain enough blood for one bottle. Then right click the cauldron with the glass bottle to collect it. Okay. Okay, this is what I think. We can get our choice reward. Okay. Oh, there it is. I passed right by it. The witch hazel is actually really pretty too. But you, I specifically want. Okay. And then there's another one we can get. And I haven't the slightest clue. Because I don't want to get two of them. Because I'm just going to put one into a, what's the word? Into a botany pot. And then we'll get a whole bunch of them so we can plant them. We have mahogany. Uh... The ebonies are actually really pretty too. See, there's so many of the same ones, but with different, from different packs. Maybe I'll hold off on the second one and kind of when I have a little bit of time, a little bit more time to myself, then we can, uh, then I can go through the woods and see which one I like more and uh, go from there on picking the sapling. Is there much overlap between ninjas and witches? I'm not sure, but this armor is pretty cool. So why not stop asking questions and just do the quest? Go climb 90,000 centimeters to prove your worth. Wow. Okay, we did that. Ooh, that's another bucket of fish. Everything else is a bucket of fish. Um, hold on. That sapling better not despawn. I'll cry. Literally ball my eyes out. Come here. Thank you. Boom and boom. And yay, we're gonna get our pretty green wood. I'm so excited for it. You guys have no idea. The one thing I really need though, and this is gonna delay us quite a bit. I need, I need cacti. I need, where do I put that nature's compass? We need a desert. It's the one thing I haven't been able to find yet too. Desert or dessert? Any, any desert. I don't even care. 30. 400 we're gonna make it over to this this desert really quick and i will see y'all there and we're gonna get a couple of cacti and no distractions okay. we are almost there this what is this what is this what is this oh hello runes of the deep um oh Oh, you fancy, huh? Okay, what is this? Is this like a, a quarry? Like a dig... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Like a dig site? Ooh, candle holders. I don't think I need a slingshot. Let's see, what's the book say? Journal day 182. Our team of researchers have begun our descent into the depths of these ruins. They go down much further than they we anticipated. Okay, so they're ruins. Wait, no, where'd it go? There's like eight pages to read. Oh, I hit take book instead of this. Travis went down yesterday and he still hasn't returned. I'm afraid he won't ever emerge. I'm going in, wish me luck. Don't go down. Oh no. Oh gosh, I wonder what's down there. Let's, okay, what did it say? We'll just say deep ruins. And then one day when we're braver and stronger and more protected. We'll come back. Okay, get out of here. You're, you, I'm gonna end up following down. And there's a village right here. We do love, oh, look how cute you are. Oh, 
Look at all the cactus, you guys. Oh my God, we just got so much. Well, yeah, we're gonna loot here because we can get a ton of cactus this way. I wonder if there's like another Badlands close because then we could get more terracotta while we're over here too. Yeah, I would be able to die. Okay, let's see. Oh, it looks like there's a Badlands right over there. I mean, it's not huge, but it's definitely bigger than that. An Atacama, oh, that's not a Badlands. It says Atacama Desert. And it, like, it all looks like orange sand. Now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't look like terracotta. Let's go a little further in and see maybe. I'm also very curious, because this isn't a rainbow beach right here. This is like, Pink sandstone. Smooth windswept swept sandstone. That's really pretty. Oh, I like this is a windswept desert. Ooh, I like those golden spawn cacti. Oh, there it is. There's the Badlands. See, we just needed to go a little bit further. And here is a teensy winksy Badlands. So this is no better than the um other biome we the other terracotta we found. Okay, y'all, we are actually going to end the video here for today. Silly old me went a little crazy with recording and I did too much. It's just, I did too much. If I were to add the other edit to this video, this video would no joke be like two and a half hours long and we just, we can't do that. But that just means that we will hopefully get another video out this week. What you think? Good idea? Yes. Anyway, if you've enjoyed your time here, please consider liking the video and hitting that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And I hope you have the best time zone. I will see y'all soon. Bye. It's been like a day in between recording for this episode for me because I have children and they have needs. And now we're back into it but I did a couple things last night in between recording pieces for this episode and I will show you guys in just a minute what I'm talking about. I went, I did go to a lush cave because I needed, I needed a bunch of clay, which I put out here. No, oh gosh, where did I put all the clay? Cause we're gonna make, I was thinking like, if I'm gonna build the storage, I want it to match so I'm going to make these daub blocks and I think they're from, yeah, supplementaries. So I wanna make these daub blocks to match. So there's kind of like a consistency, but you needed clay for it. And now I have to find where I put, wait, did I keep it in my backpack? Oh, there we go. So I went and I got a whole bunch of clay from a lush cave, but now we need a bunch of sticks which we'll grab what you guys have, and then I'm gonna take you and you. And we'll make sticks out of these two stacks. It's gonna be a lot. Okay, let me look up the recipe. I didn't even, okay. First, we're going to start by making, wait, is this one? Oh, wheat or straw, but these ones are with sticks. But you have to have the daub block first. Okay, I get way too ahead of myself. I am, okay, I'm surprisingly not too bad on wheat, but that's definitely not enough. So there's these blocks. I love the sound of them. Oh my gosh. And then all of our cactuses, that cactuses, it's not a word, all of our cacti got done smelting. So I have my green that I want for my roof. I have my, let me put these in here, my stone that we're gonna build. We need to make a trowel, which I believe is, it's like my favorite tool in the world. Yeah, it's from Quark. And this little thing works magic like nobody's business. So what a trowel does is it takes whatever blocks are in your, your hot bar here, and it when you place them, it just places random blocks at a time. So it's a really easy way to get texture in your builds versus like going back and forth and changing blocks and stuff like that all the time. It's legit my favorite, one of my favorite little creations. It makes adding that texture to our builds so much easier and so much better. Please say I have room to put all these sticks in somewhere. I was so organized at the beginning of this, of this series and 
and not the series, the, this episode. And that is not the case anymore. That is absolutely not the case. Okay, we're almost ready to start building. So I am doing a tutorial by Minecraft Fantasy Builds on YouTube. And I will make sure I link the tutorial I'm using down. I'm not gonna record the whole thing, especially because I can't get replay mod in here. And if anybody knows of a way that I can get replay mod in here, let your girl know, because that would be really good to have. And then last night while I was sleeping, I had an idea for this. I just keep coming up with more stuff. I have all the ideas, but not the time. We will do the layout. I know I want it like right here. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that big, but it's actually gonna work pretty well with the um, words, with the um, functional storage because it won't be like a whole bunch of big chests. It'll be like little, like one blocks and that will actually work out really well for us. And I believe it's two stories too. Now you guys are gonna get to see the trial at work too, which I'm so excited about. I love this. So see? When you place it down, look at that. I love that. This is one of my favorite parts of Quark. And then I'll go in here too to add like even more dimension, like, you know, putting like little stairs and walls in place to, um, to really give it like a feel. I like my buildings to feel kind of run down in a sense, like, I want them to feel like they're one with the forest, even though right now we're technically on a beach. Okay, so we are moving right along. This actually probably won't take too long, but I just want to show you guys, like, look, that's what the trowel does. Like, I love this so much. And then if you don't know what I was talking about earlier, like, I like to... I've learned this from some of the greatest Minecraft builders where you take stairs and you like put it in or you put in like a couple walks, uh, walks, you put in like a couple walls of something and it will like sink the, the stone in so it kind of looks uh, worn down, eroded. So yeah, we'll go through and do that. Like right now, we're not going to right now. I just want to get the initial build done. But yeah, this is trowel. This is the trowel. It's from the cork mod and it is the best thing since sliced bread in my personal opinion <laughs> and i will tell you guys too that any block that you have in your inventory see it'll take the scaffolding it you have to put the blocks that you want placed down in your hot bar not just any random block and like this will put trap doors doors anything that's considered a block in this game it will put them in there so just keep that for reference Okay, we have ran into a little issue and I need dye. Specifically, I need white dye and I'm thinking because our old house was right across from a flower forest. Oh wait, 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 we might be able to use these. What, no, they're wild cucumbers, never mind, never mind. Um, but we used to live across the way from a flower forest. So I need to go to said flower forest and find a waystone too. And then that way we can have a way to get back to it if we need other types of dyes. There we go, there's our waystones, okay. So yeah, we're gonna have to go on a small adventure. And this is because I'm trying to make a certain type of trap door and macaws, uh, trap doors, windows, doors, everything is in here. And in order to make these things, you need a, I'll show you guys, where is it? So I'm trying to make this one right here. It's like a mesh trap door, but you need these prints. And in order to get these prints, you need to have dyes, things that I do not have. So I figured it would just be better to go to the flower forest and that way we would have any flower available to us that we need. And it's gonna be, it's gonna take a minute. 
because this is where this is where we need to be. I don't think we've ran into any other flower forest either. We've got a little ways to go. I will, if I find anything interesting, I'll come back to you guys, but I'm gonna try to get here as quickly as I can, which we all know that's gonna take, oh, it's gonna take a little while. This is gonna be a long trek. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. I have no space anywhere. No inventory space. Nothing. So let's just go make this journey and get it done and over with. I will see you guys in a minute. Okay. I believe we are almost here, but there's one thing because this is the Tinker's Workshop. I saw in someone else's video. I cannot remember who I was watching, but there is like another way down in here oh you hush oh and all this that we did not grab the last time we were here i didn't even see this also this is absolutely what i should not be doing but it there was something i think that i didn't realize i wasn't really paying attention i just maybe not in this one then oh nope right here i missed it so there are there are bad guys down here See, there's spawner right there oh and there's traps but i don't even know what all that stuff is so we're not gonna mess with it right now but i want to come back and do that i can't i totally overlooked that i can't believe i did that but yeah i saw that that was interesting and we will come back and try uh not to not to die but anyway let's get back to our old place of residence oop don't fall down there I think these are like little flower forest islands right here. Which is fun. Well, um, we know that there's plenty of flower forest around here. So, we'll do this. But I need the white tulip. Specifically. Am I not picking it up? Am I full? Of course I am. Can we get white from Lily of the Valleys? I mean, I just like Lily of the Valleys anyway. But, oh wait, I don't think I can pick up that much, huh? I kind of want to pick up the lilac and bring them back with me to Swamp Village. Thank you. And then this is our progress so far. We're doing pretty, pretty good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Whole reason I needed these was why is that giving me light gray dye? Why, why would a white flower, why would a white tulip give me light gray dye? I, ugh, somebody explain this craziness to me. Okay, and then, like that, yeah. Give me pink and we needed to make this thing. So we need paper. We do not have a bunch of, okay. I wonder if I need, I hope this is like a one-time, nope, it makes four of them. Great. Well, this is kind of a pain. I might put chipped in here instead because that that's a lot to do. And that's not even, that might be enough for now. But that's a lot to do for custom trapdoors. So we might, I wasn't going to put chipped in here, but I think I might just because it, that makes it 10 times easier. Okay, wait, give me these. I need these. Oh my God. There's so much stuff. Great, now we need to go to sleep. Hey, go to sleep. Oh, look how pretty the sky is. This is the only difficult thing when uh, doing these particular tutorials is they go a little bit fast. Oh, nope, that's not right. But yeah, it can be a little bit difficult to keep up and just kind of see what they're actually doing. So I thought they had their blocks a certain way, but I was wrong. I did not prepare as well as I should have for this. So I've had to go back in and out several times. And you know what, that's my own fault because they do give a materials list at the beginning. But I was like, I just wanna get it started. Okay, so I went ahead and added the chipped mod because I wanted more variety in my blocks for decorating. Like I wanna find a fun, a couple fun floor patterns to use. Oh, is this the wrong one? I don't want the mason table. I thought the carpenter's workbench was the one where we could get different wood blocks. Am I wrong? 
probably. Knowing me, I, I'm probably not. Okay, so that just says that. What did I do? I really thought that was the one I needed. It's not the mason table because I thought that was just... I thought this was just for stone. All right, we need clay and a brick. Let's let's try. I can't remember now. You know what? I'm... Maybe I'll... Oh, gosh. My bags are so full. Everything is full. I need to get this done. This is actually, this recording for this one video is taking me four days now. Four days. Um, what did it, is it one clay? Or we'll do two just in case. I have the iron on me. What else was it? A log and a crafting table. Oh my, this even, why is this being like this? I don't understand. Am I missing something? Or is it because it's 1.19? I'm used to playing this in 120.1, so. I think, hold on, let's look through this. Yeah, these are just the logs. No, but there's the planks here. Like, see, this is what I want. Okay, so I'm not crazy. But what table is this? I really think I might be losing it. Like, you won't take any, oh wait, you do, but you don't show me anything. Or, okay, one last. Do we have a saw? Is this, no, that's a grindstone. Do one of y'all have a, oh gosh, it's nighttime. Okay try this again do one of y'all have a saw so so i think i need a saw a, is it a saw bench let's see i think that's what i need well, that's a that's a create so wait why is this saying i don't want a framing saw i just want a regular saw like I, uh, i'm oh, i'm so confused right now do i need to put like bench no, no bench okay Okay, Kelly, we know words are hard, but do better. I don't even know if this is actually gonna work, but. So to make the frames, sticks and planks. All right, well, it makes four automatically. And then what do we need? An iron ingot. Okay, we have all that. Okay, please be what I need, please. It is, wait, is it? Hold on, wait, no. It's a framing saw. I'm, mm, I sound like a Enderman. Okay, so I put my game in creative because I wanted to look and see what workbenches were available. Like, cause like I said, this isn't making any sense to me. And if you come up to where all the workbenches, oh, I didn't mean to grab the, oh my God. Um, we're there, so we have our loom, the composter, a barrel, a smoker, a blast furnace, the cartography table, a fletching table, a grindstone, a smithing table, and the stone cutter. There is no workbench saw. And then a bee's nest and an oak beehive. And that, that like that is, so something took the saw. And I am almost positive that, yeah, you know, there's a furnace. I'm almost positive we would need the saw to, those are the only two types of saws to do this. I'm so, I'm, I'm really confused. I guess just oak planks. I mean, spruce planks it is. Cause I, I literally don't know. Oh, I haven't even shown you guys the house. So let me go. Uh, and then my, apparently my, my, my free cam has stopped working. So we'll do this for the flag command. Um, that's added into the game. Oh, don't laugh at my name. This is actually not my name. This was my son's name at one point, and I don't, like, every time I try to play under my name, it won't let me. But this is the house. It is done. The exterior is done. I did a couple things differently, but for the most part, I kept it the same as the build, and like I said, I will be linking this for you guys if you're interested in it. But now I'm working on the interior, which I'm also doing differently. So I want to get our storage done. Like I want that to be done for this episode. I just, honestly, I want this whole episode to be over because it's just dragged on and on and on. I, and I just, I can't, I can't win in this episode, y'all. Okay. This is a four door. We can start with this one. I have these ones I haven't used for plants yet, so I'm gonna actually take them. We need a lot of stuff. I think it's slabs. No, so just planks and a lot of chests. Okay, we can do this. 
Give me all of this. Oops, I always hit the wrong button. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I undo that? I don't, no, we have all in logs. Great. See, I can't talk and work at the same time. It's just not possible. And why would you make falling logs the first available? Like, like we know, who's gonna use 64 falling logs? Not me, maybe. Well, now I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure, Figure out, I almost did it again. Figure out something to do with them. Yes. I know it looks like I'm making a lot of chests, but I promise you, it might not even be enough. Might not even be enough. Okay, this is the four drawer. Yes. Oh, maybe I lied. But see, all the chests are gone. Okay. We need to make a control thingy. Um, fluid drawer, compacting drawer. I don't want any of that. A storage controller. Okay, we can make one of these. We need a linking tool. All right, we got you. Some of those away. And then we need the configuration tool, an emerald. Okay. And then we're gonna have to make a bunch of upgrades. So we're gonna need more chests anyhow. I told you guys, I wasn't crazy. I was gonna need a ton. We need to get all of this copper going. We have a good bit, but I promise you, it's probably not gonna be enough. Especially if you put like a couple upgrades on one thingamabob. Let's look for the rest of all of our copper because I want to make sure that we have it all. Cooper, I put Cooper. Oh my God. We have these little nuggets. Um, Wow. Just, just wow. I can't help it either. That's the thing. It's like this comes, okay, we have one upgrade. This comes so natural naturally to me. It's actually quite terrifying. All right, well, do we have any Cooper in here? No. So I want to have at least two. I'm just going to do the copper upgrades just because they're easy. And they're actually quite a bit. If you do like just a couple of the copper upgrades on them. And copper is so easy to come by too. Versus like gold, diamond, netherite. So I would much rather do the copper and put like just a couple copper upgrades on versus trying to get all of these other ones. So I am going to, oh wait, hello. Do I have anything that needs to go in here? No. I'm gonna AFK for just a minute while these furnaces do this and then we'll come right back. And hopefully we'll have some storage going. Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go put the storage up and then I'll come back because our upgrades should be ready. But we should be able to, yep, that's exactly how I wanted to do it. And this should be plenty, except ultra little horses. We're gonna put our controller right there. So the great thing about this is once you link all of this together and you start putting your stuff in and you get everything locked how it should be, you can just walk up to the storage controller and um, right click it and then whatever's in your inventory will go into its prop proper slot. So it's good for things like blocks for things that you get a lot of, but it's not good for things that you only get like a little bit of like fences or arrows or stuff like that. It's not great for that, but we'll keep like other little storages and then you wanna lock them. So when you do go to put your stuff in through this, it will lock each one so they won't just filter out to other little blocks. And then you have yourself a very convenient little storage area. And all the pictures of whatever's on it, it will show the picture. Well, I mean, you guys, y'all probably saw it with my, um, what is this over here? With our botany pots. See, it just shows the picture of what's in here. And then I can put a lock on these. So I can keep them exactly how I want them. But very convenient. I quite like functional storage. Sophisticated storage isn't bad. And it also has a controller that you can do the same thing. I just prefer functional storage over sophisticated storage. And then we'll keep a couple of these anyways, and we can upgrade them. Can we upgrade you? Yeah, we should be able to upgrade these. So we will have like a couple of sophisticated storage boxes just because we're going to need them. Um, or we could like upgrade all the barrels that are laying around. And then that way, actually while we're waiting, that's something we're gonna do y'all. We're gonna make the right torch. We only have one fire charge. Okay, this prevents mob spawns in a huge area. And I think this is all mob spawns. 
I think the diamond is just, yeah. So this says mob types monster, mob types creature. And then this is all mobs. So I don't necessarily want all mobs gone. I just, oh God, four diamonds. I'd really rather not because this is, the, that's literally all the diamonds we have. And a fire charge and some wood. Okay. And we're gonna have to make more torches, which we are super low on iron though. Not torches, lanterns, excuse me, because this place is dark. We're gonna have to go actually. What do we need? The top of our storage tower is going to be where our villagers are for easy villagers. A bucket of lava, glass, iron, and stone. We can do this. I know we have lava. Oh, we got three buckets of lava. Cool. Our glass is over here. We need panes. I only have six though. That's connecting glass and that's regular glass. Want to use the connecting glass? Do we have sand anywhere? I feel like I should, but I also feel like I threw it all out when I was doing something and I even told myself, you're gonna regret that. Oh look, our furnaces are done. I did not realize that. Okay, cool. Back to just about no space. I'm doing too much at once. I was just trying to fill the, the space. Okay, what can we do? We can only make nine. Why is that? Well, that seems kind of, what is it? Oh, okay, I see why. I don't feel like doing this manually. Okay, so we'll use all of those to do our, we're gonna have to make so many more. No, we're not. I don't think we will. Uh, so many more chests, but I don't, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Ooh, we're not okay. Got everything from, oh, see, this is what I told you. I knew that wasn't gonna be enough. We're gonna have to go to the mines. But if I could get a villager with fortune three, we could actually make our lives a little easier. This one is redstone. Okay. So iron and redstone. And give me this glass. How do you make glass panes? Is it like this? Yeah. And then we'll do a trader. We'll do this one. I don't think we have any more lecterns though. Might have used them all on the build, which is something I, oh, nope, I made more. Perfect. Proud of you, Kelly. I'm gonna put that torch away. I'm gonna put that away, those away, and actually keep those out so it's a reminder of what we need. And grab, you're already a librarian, Eric, so you can come with me. Books, and last but not least, emeralds. Okay, let me go roll this villager so I can get fortune three, so I can go to the mines and dig up more copper, and hopefully, Hopefully. Oh, also, if you want to see really quick how easy villagers work. So there's two types of trading boxes. This is just a regular trading box. And then there's also an auto trading box where you can just set the items in. And every time the villager resets, it'll trade with them again. Um, but we're just going to do a regular one. So it, whatever villager you want, uh, librarian, whatever their job is, you're going to put one of their job tables in here. And then he didn't have to be a villager because he's not set yet. I could have put a fisherman in here. I could have put anybody in here and he would have changed into a librarian. And then it has a, cycle, a trade cycle. So I can just go through all the trade cycles and instead of having to, you know, break a, whatchamacallit, what is that thing? Um, break a lectern, ooh, efficiency three. Every time we don't get the, uh, I can't do this and, and talk at the same time because I'm losing, if you couldn't tell, I'm losing my concentration on what I'm trying to explain to y'all. So I'm gonna continue to roll and then I, we can come back and talk because I can't do this at the same time. Sorry, I have ADHD, I can't help it. Oh wow, okay. That actually did not take long at all. Oh, very cool. That took no time, wow. But you know what's wrong is our diamond pickaxe is just about dead. So, I don't wanna put it on a, uh, which I'm a, who's it, an, an iron axe. I wanna put it on a diamond axe and we don't have the diamonds at the moment. So I am going to go try to roll for mending also. Mm -hmm. Sharpless knife, he wants, Karita wants 59 gems for sharpness five. Karita's crazy. 
Though I did look at the, when I looked at mending, I looked and saw that there's stone mending three, but this says there's only a chance to gain, to restore durability during, when mining stone. So I don't want a chance. Like I want it to actually do it. So I decided not to go with stone mending. Like we need actual mending. And then I realized like the books are different. Like all the books are different now. I get, I'm assuming because of like a mod of some sort, but even out of habit, I still go and look at the book. Thank you, Karita, for that mending for only 12. I appreciate you. I'm going to have to make a, there's also for easy villagers, there's a zombie, a zombifier. So, you know, you turn your villagers into zombies and then you heal, heal them and you get like the great discounts. Um, so we will be making one of those too. There's our fortune three and there is our mending. Let's go down to our little place. So we don't have to go down crazy far. We should actually just have to come to where we've been. Will you give me... No, you will not. I need something with experience. All right, I'm gonna break this. And then all that work I just did is, I mean, I could have been less of a goober. I could have made stone pickaxes to get through the stuff. And then I will start using my head at one point or another, but unfortunately it, it, it's gonna take a minute. Okay, hopefully those will be enough. Ooh, we just got a diamond and some emeralds. I love this lucky rock. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these stone picks are not gonna last us long at all. Okay, we get another lucky rock. Ah, but it's negative 21. Wow. What a scam. Oh, oh no. Ugh. Okay, well, that was short lived and we barely got two sacks. I knew I should have just filled up the whole inventory with those stone pickaxes. I knew I should have. Well, we did it now. So we've got a bunch of stone picks that take up most of our inventory, but it's fine because they're, it's not like they last a long time anyway. What is this one? An 8% efficiency bonus? I don't remember what our other one is. Oh, hi guys. Sorry. Let me fix this for you. We got another lucky rock. All right, eight and three three so what if we combine these two? Oh, it went down to six wow okay this is horrible i'm not getting any copper but the internet said this should be the best level am i really already out of stone pickaxes wow okay okay well this was a bust i mean i guess we'll just have to work with what we have and go from there okay we are slowly getting organized but there is one other thing we need to make from functional storage, and that is these. Let's see, I don't remember the name of them. These right here, compacting drawers. We need them for our, uh, oh my gosh, words just evade me all the time, for our, our ores. So we need to get all this stuff for that. We need iron, we need redstone i got few i got rid of a few chests so that was good we need that and what was the last thing we needed oh the sticky pistons which is stone planks iron and redstone and then i need regular stone okay i have enough stone hope so and then just give me some hey these can we make okay well i don't want to make that many but we need two okay maybe we'll make eight of those and then have four of them. Let's see. What do we have? Gold, iron, copper. But the way you want to do it, at least this is how it's worked for me in the past, is you want to get a nugget first. I know I have gold nuggets. I put them somewhere. This is how it's worked for me is that if I put the nugget in, it makes the place for the ingot and the block. And then whatever you need, like if you need a block of something or an ingot, yada, yada, like it's there and it's ready versus like you having to go make it. I mean, we've got a ton more organizing we need to do, but we're, I feel like we're off to a really good start. So 
Oh, I also need to find my controller. Where, now where did I put the dang controller? There's no telling. Wait, it did raw iron, no. Hold on. I need that to be a regular iron nugget. Uh, there we go. I didn't realize that was a raw iron nugget. Okay. Why isn't this all going in like it should? There we go. And then, yeah, if you just right click, then all of your stuff is out of your inventory and into your storage. I feel like there's something else that I need there, but I guess we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Then as long as this, like it doesn't show it in here because there's quite a bit of space. But you, it normally shows you like a, like a boundary that it can go to and it'll like cut off and it'll be like a foggy green wall or something but because this is all so close in space, it won't have that. But this can reach fairly far. So you could like have a ginormous wall of chests and it wouldn't, and all you would have to do is just do that. Not as convenient as refund storage, but still pretty convenient. Okay, let's get the stuff and put those there. And then I'm gonna put the leather right beside it. And I'm gonna put the, I try to keep like some type of organization to this put away what we can and then the spider's eyes can come down there the dripstone i want right above the other dripstone and we're gonna throw i think we'll put our stairs here i know we have more stairs in this box here how much more okay not too much more uh, and we have more slabs and more leather and nuggets <laughs> goodness gracious okay wait i want we're gonna do it like this uh so for me it's just a lot of moving pieces around like I'll start putting stuff in places and then I move it so I can get it a little bit organized to my type of organization and then try to keep it that way I guess I don't know so all manner of things technically are with their same like I guess tag or whatever I'm gonna jump back into my organizing once again and hopefully I'll be done soon and we can get this place cleaned out and other stuff going because that would be fantastic okay friends we are mostly organized and i think that this is this is a good time to just cut our losses on this episode and move on to the next one i mean we got a lot done we got this built honestly it looks so good and i love it i love it and we're gonna get the rest of our villagers in here sooner or later to make all of our trades but yeah i mean that turned out really nice don't ask why I'm in an Alex skin. I don't know what's going on with my regular skin, but I, I haven't a clue. I haven't the slightest little clue. I'm just, I'm cosplaying Alex today, apparently. Anyway, until next time, I will see you then. And don't forget, if you enjoyed your time here, although it was chaotic and hectic and all over the place, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Have the best time zone. Bye.